This episode of I Am The Trend TV is brought to you by Threadbird Printing, high quality screen printing at affordable prices. And Threads Not Dead, the essential ebook for dominating the t-shirt industry. Visit tinyurl.com slash t not d and use coupon code IATT20 for 20% off your purchase. Hey guys, Adam from IamTheTrend.com and I Am The Trend TV. And in tonight's episode, we have the indie clothing line Lioncaster. These guys just dropped a couple months ago, maybe I think June. Um, Lioncaster is a brand that is focused very specifically around an idea. Um, actually, a couple characters, I believe one's Lioncaster and the other one's Harbor Dasher. Um, so basically, they've tied in this idea, this post apocalyptic America. Um, into their brand and into their branding, which is very cool. Um, make sure to check out lioncaster.com. The first thing that you'll see when you go to their website is this whole movie they put together or short film um, about the brand. It kind of shows uh, the Lioncaster traveling across the land and uh, coming across things that um, are left over in this post-apocalyptic world. So enough about their story. I um, just want to kind of point out because it's cool. They've centered around their brand around an entire story, which is awesome. Um, so four pieces of tees, packaging, printing, price, presentation. First up, packaging, white poly mailer with their Lioncaster logo sticker, um, which is cool. No handwritten label. Awesome. Um, inside, I just cracked it open to see, and looks like it is hand packaged. Some Lioncaster... Um, tissue paper. I've seen this a few times lately um, from brands where the shirts themselves are kind of gift wrapped, which I think is awesome. It's really cheap to get tissue paper or um, tissue paper that is custom branded with your logo or maybe even just get a stamp and stamp that tissue paper. I think it kind of represents the idea of opening up a gift, even though you know what's inside. Um, usually I don't, but when you order something you obviously do, it's still fun to op open something up. Um, I don't think anyone gets upset having to open things. It just kind of harkens back to birthdays, uh, you know, holidays, what, whatever. And um, it's all good stuff. So packaging, we have the plain poly mailer. We have the tissue paper. And speaking of opening gifts, let's do it. Um, nothing else inside. So packaging, I'm going to give them a solid B. Um, the, the mailer itself on the outside didn't look anything grand, but on the inside. The inside is what counts and looks very good. And uh, actually, we got a little envelope here, which is very cool with a wax stamp. So let's see what this is all about. This is their, their hang tag uh, for their shirts. Very weathered um, feeling and looking mailer, which kind of fits with their branding. So a lot of, a lot of thought has definitely gone into this brand. Ooh, it's even a burnt paper and everything. Um, this kind of explains the brand and the story of the Harbor Dasher. I'm not going to go through it all right now, but very cool. Once again, creating a brand, creating the story, creating an image, creating something cohesive. All really cool stuff. Um, I love the attention to detail on, on everything that these guys are doing. Uh, here's the shirt itself. I'm going to win the revolting revolt. Uh, take a quick peek for myself here. Some cool illustration. Um, a couple other things here. They do have the screen printed um, tag on the inside, which is all nice and good. And then on the front, I'm a little bit different than the standard hem tag that goes underneath. It's a, a flat hem tag that kind of sits on the front edge, which, which is cool. It fits with the brand. Um, I'd like to see how this looks on. So I'll be back. And I'm back. T-shirt's on. And basically I just wanted to see where this label ended up on the shirt. It looked a little bit random when I didn't have the shirt on, but having it on, it looks cool. Um, definitely different, like, like I said, than the, the hem tag that goes across the bottom uh, hem of the shirt. Uh, flat sewn on there. It's cool. It's something different. Um, you always got to do something to stand out and be a little bit different. Um, the shirt itself feels nice. The printing's great. Um, obviously one color print, but I think it looks good. It feels good. Um, not very uh, hard. It's a soft print. After one wash, I'm sure this will be completely soft hand. Um, I don't believe this is an American Apparel shirt. I believe this is a Toltex or an Anvil 980. Uh, nothing wrong with that. 
Uh, the price in this shirt is 1875. So I think think that's a really fair price, especially for um, all the extras that you get. Um, all the attention to detail, I think that's more than fair. So price on that, even though it's not an American Apparel shirt, 1875, I still think is a, an A. There's a lot of value for your dollar there. Um, printing, I think is an A as well. One color print um, did a very nice job. And lastly, overall presentation, A plus. The presentation of this brand really goes above and beyond um, what. I typically see or what you typically see with any clothing lines. Um, if you check out linecaster.com, uh, immediately a video starts playing that kind of explains the brand, um, takes you on almost a journey, if you will. And I just love all the attention to detail from the, you know, weathered mailer that has the burnt piece of uh, or paper, you know, explaining the story to the hand wrapped t-shirt. I think everything's really cool, really good. Everything ties together very well. Um, so great branding image, great idea for a clothing line. So very impressed with these guys. A plus on overall presentation. I um, definitely look forward to seeing what they do down the road. Um, something also that they have is really cool on their on their website is a oh. bun, which is only forty one twenty five. It comes with um, let me check my notes here, a knife, flask, handkerchief, t-shirt, and a tote bag that it all comes in. Everything is branded with Lioncaster. Very cool stuff, and for 40 bucks, you really can't beat it. Um, you can check that out in their store, lioncaster.com. So, um, I'm Adam from IamTheTrend.com. You can follow me on Twitter.com slash IamTheTrend, Facebook.com slash IamTheTrend. Until next time, stay with me, stay shirty.